Our controversial footprint discovery suggests human-like creatures may have roamed Crete, ancient Crete, nearly six million years ago. Crete is the southernmost island of Greece. The human foot is distinctive. Our five toes lack claws. We normally present the sole of our foot flat on the ground and our first and second toes are longer than the smaller ones. In comparison to our fellow primates, our big toes are in line with the long axis of the foot. They don't stick out to the side, to one side, as we can see here. In fact, some would argue that one of the defining characteristics of being part of the human clad is the shape of our foot. So imagine our surprise when we discovered fossil footprints with remarkable human-like characteristics at Trachylos in Crete that are 5.7 million years old. This research published by the Proceedings of the Geologist Association is controversial as it suggests that the earliest human ancestors may have wandered around southern Europe as well as East Africa. The period corresponds to a geological time interval known as the Miocene. The footprints are small tracks made by someone walking upright on two legs. There are 29 of them in total. They range in size from 94 millimeters to 223 millimeters and have the shape and form very similar to human tracks. No human ape footprints look very different. The foot is shaped more like a human hand with a big toe attached low on the side of the sole and sticking out sideways. The footprints were dated using a combination of fossilized marine microorganisms called foraminifera and the character of the local sedimentary rocks. Foraminifera evolved very rapidly and marine sedimentary rocks can be dated quite precisely on the basis of the foraminifera they contain. These indicate an age somewhere in the span of eight and a half million to two, three and a half million years. However, at the very end of the Miocene, about 5.6 million years ago, an extraordinary thing happened. The entire Mediterranean Sea dried out for some time. This event left a clear signature in the sediments of the surrounding areas. The sediments that contain the footprints suggest they probably date to the period immediately before this, about 5.7 million years. Cradle of Humanity The Cradle of Humanity, quote-unquote, has long been thought to lie in Africa, with most researchers suggesting that Ethiopia was where the human lineage originated. The earliest known body fossils that are accepted as hominins, that is, members of the human lineage, by most researchers are Sahelanthropus tsadensis from Chad, about 7 million years old, Aurorin tugenesis from Kenya, about 6 million years old, and Ardipithecus kadada, kadaba from Ethiopia, about 5.8 to 5.2 million years ago. The oldest known footprints, however, were found at Laitoli in Tanzania and came from the next geological time interval, the Pliocene. These are some 3.66 million years old and even more human-like than those of Trachylos of Crete. The second oldest tracks are those at Leret made by Homo erectus 1.5 million years ago and are little different from the tracks that we ourselves might make today. If and from many and for many it is a big if, the tracks of Trachylos Crete were indeed made by an early human ancestor, then the biographical range of our early ancestors would increase to encompass the eastern Mediterranean. Crete was not an island at this time, but attached to the Greek mainland, and the environment of the Mediterranean region was very different from now. The discovery comes just months after another study reported the discovery of 7 million year old Greek and Bulgarian fossil teeth from a hominin ape dubbed El Greco. This is the oldest fossil of a human-like ape, which has led some to suggest that humans started to evolve in Europe 
hundreds of thousands of years before they started to evolve in Africa. But many scientists have remained skeptical about this claim, as we are. The presence of Miocene hominids in Europe and Africa simply show that both continents are possible homelands for the group. In theory, El Greco could be responsible for the Trachylos Crete footprints, but without any limb or foot bones, it is impossible to tell. Alternative solutions. But there are other ways to interpret the findings. Some might suggest that the distinctive anatomy of the human-like foot could have evolved more than once. The tracks could have been made by a hitherto unknown Miocene primate that had a foot anatomy and locomotive style not unlike our own. There are examples throughout the fossil records of what is called convergent evolution, two unrelated animals developing similar anatomical features as adaptations to a particular lifestyle. However, there is nothing about the Trachylos footprints themselves that suggests such a convergence. Convergence rarely produces perfect duplicates. Rather, you tend to get an odd mix of similarities and differences, like you see when you compare a shark and a dolphin, for example. Now imagine if the Trachylos footprints combined human-like characters with a few other characters that simply didn't fit in. For example, that the toes looked human-like but carried big claws. This would be a reason to suspect that the human-like features could be convergent. But the Trachylos Crete footprints don't show any such discordant characters. They simply look like primitive hominin footprints as far as we can tell. For those unable to see beyond Africa as the human cradle, these tracks present a considerable challenge and it is not, has not been easy to get the discovery published. Some have even questioned whether the observed features are footprints at all. However, collectively, the researchers behind this study have published over 400 papers on tracks, so we are pretty confident we know what they are. Although the results are controversial, suggesting that the rich East African evidence for early hominids may not be telling the whole story, it's important that we take the findings seriously. The Trachylos Greek track site deserves to be protected and the evidence should be debated by scientists. It is now for the researchers in the field to embark on finding more tracks, or better still, body fossils, that will help us to better understand this interesting period of primate diversity, which ultimately lead, led to our own evolution irrespective of where this first happened. The very essence of this type of science is prospection, discovery, evidence-based, inference, and debate. We are sure that this paper will stimulate debate, so let us hope that it also stimulates further discoveries. Okay, this is a, 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 an article on the conversation, and the authors are Matthew Robert Bennett and Per Alberg of Bournemouth. University, Bournemouth University in England, in the UK. Now the thing is, it's not very um, easy for them to find uh, for body fossils because of the fact that the bones deteriorate. They turn to, you know, as ashes to ashes and dust to dust, as we say. They uh, disintegrate. Unless they're somehow um, fossilized in uh, a swamp, uh, in a bog somewhere, and they don't decompose that easily. Who knows? I'll leave a link below for you for this.